Getting back to the coronavirus pandemic now, the rollout of available vaccines is beginning today at some nursing homes and assisted living facilities. CVS and Walgreens are spearheading this rollout through a deal with the government to run on-site clinics. CVS says it is doling out an extra $60 million in bonuses for employees who worked through the pandemic. The host of Face the Nation, Margaret Brennan, joins us now. Margaret, thanks so much for being with us this evening. Now, a federal government shutdown could be triggered at midnight tonight while congressional talks over COVID relief remain in flux. So what's the latest status? Well, just within the past hour, there's been this last ditch effort to have a short term band aid that would get us through the weekend without the government shutting down. Uh, that's just a short term patch and it buys time if the Senate passes what the House is, is putting forward uh, for further time to negotiate on a bigger deal that would provide aid to everyday Americans. Uh, extension, for example, of unemployment benefits for contract workers that currently is set to expire the day after Christmas. Uh, small business funding, all these things that the uh, lawmakers have been debating for months, they literally put off until the last minute. Uh, and right at the cusp of expiration. So there's a lot of focus on what happens over the next 24 to 48 hours to see if they can get both the government funding uh, deadline and this deal to line up and allow lawmakers to sign off on a bill that can be passed before Christmas. And Margaret, COVID cases and hospitalizations are at an all-time high as we approach the holiday week. So what's the latest on hospital capacity and vaccine distribution? Hospitals are really maxed out, particularly on the east and west coast where you're seeing the spike happen. Uh, the Midwest, which had been hit so hard, those numbers are coming down slightly. Uh, if you track on COVID-19 tracking project, they're saying we're at all time highs as a country, though. That is why uh, Operation Warp Speed is really trying to push their vaccine uh, and really wear down hesitancy. But they've got these problems with the with the vaccine not being distributed in the numbers governors had expected. We're going to talk about that with the Surgeon General, Dr. Jerome Adams, on Sunday and another really important conversation with the CEO of Eli Lilly because there are drugs available if you ask for them. Um, but the problem is that with some of these uh, solutions like uh, antibody treatments like President Trump received when he was sick with COVID, for example, uh, taxpayers spent millions of dollars and they're not being used. We wanna talk about why that is and what you need to know if you become infected and what you need to ask your doctor for. Very important to know more about those therapeutics, Margaret. And finally, lots of talk this week also about cybersecurity hacks at the highest level of government. So why is the solar winds breach so yeah. significant? This is considered one of the largest hackings in American history. It has touched so many parts of the federal government that right now the Trump administration is describing it as ongoing and a grave risk. Basically, they don't know how far this goes. So on Sunday, we're going to talk uh, with the CEO of the company that first detected it. It was a private company, not the U.S. government, that detected this breach. And we want to find out what they know, who may have carried this out. It's largely suspected to be Russia. Uh, and what needs to happen next. Uh, we want to boil this down for people at home to understand how this massive intelligence failure happened that U.S. systems were breached back in March and it was only discovered this week. All right, Margaret, sounds like you have a jam-packed show. Thanks so much for joining us today. Still ahead on CBS 4 News at 530, kissing a holiday